Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is David Acevedo, also known as Avocado, here at Lugoff Toyota. And my last video I showed you guys the overall view on the 2020 Corolla. This time we're going to dig a little deeper into the Intune Audio 3.0. Welcome inside the new 2020 Toyota Corolla. And I'm going to go over some features uh, on the inside and show you how to connect your phone to your car. First off, let's connect the Bluetooth. First thing we're going to do is hit the audio button. And if you're already listening to a station, say if you're listening to um, FM radio, um, you can just already just press source up at the top and hit Bluetooth there at the bottom. It'll ask you, would you like to add one? You're going to hit yes. On your phone, you're going to go to Bluetooth. Make sure it's on at the very bottom of the car. It'll pop up Toyota Corolla. You tap that. It's going to ask if you would like to sync your contacts. Go ahead and hit allow. And while it connects, just give it one second. You can go ahead and skip that. And done. It is now connected. So if you're going to listen to any type of music, podcast, whatever, it will start playing here. You can pause it. You can turn it up. Do everything from your screen here. Um, now, if you're an iPhone user, you actually get what they call Apple CarPlay. So to connect Apple CarPlay, first thing you need to do, connect your phone via Bluetooth, just how we did. Then you connect your cord to the USB port down here at the bottom. Plug your cord into your phone. And as soon as it pops on, it's going to ask you, would you like to enable it? Let's just do it for the, you can always hit always enable, but we'll do it this time, enable once. It'll ask you on the phone, hit allow, and voila, your screen turns into your iPhone. So now if you have um, Google Maps on your phone, you can go ahead and click it. It'll pull up your maps. You can pull up your contacts by hitting phone, um, different music. If you have Spotify or the Waze app, it'll also integrate onto your screen here. Um, see, he has Waze, Google Maps, Spotify, everything up there. Now, um, say you driving down the road and you want to tell Siri to do something. Just like your phone, you talk to Siri and it will pop up here. And that's how you connect to Apple CarPlay. To get out of it, we just press menu and it'll go back to your normal screen and you do not have to have Apple CarPlay unless you want to. And that's it for the Apple CarPlay. Also with your 2020 Corolla SE model, it comes standard with Wi-Fi, which is six month free trial or two gigabytes for free. And how to turn that feature on in your 2020 Corolla, first thing you have to do is hit menu, set up, scroll down to the Wi-Fi, press, now where it says Wi-Fi hotspot, your vehicle actually has a hotspot on it. You can connect multiple devices, I think up to five. Um, all you do is hit on and it will pop up a password and it'll show you how to connect it. Um, very easy. Now, since this vehicle has not been registered to anybody, it will not work. But once we actually register the vehicle to you, all you do is come hit Wi-Fi and hit on and you actually have a hotspot in your vehicle uh, with Verizon. If you already have a line with Verizon, you can actually add your car to that and have unlimited data just like you do on your cell phone. So while you're driving on long road trips, you have Wi-Fi at any time. All vehicles do come standard with what they call Safety Connect. There's an SOS button right up here in this center console area. To, f to press it, you're going to flip down. It's going to open a little screen and it'll allow you to press that button. What that does, it works similar to what, they, um, what OnStar is. If you're driving down the road and your vehicle was in a car wreck, it immediately sends a signal to the closest 911 dispatch and they'll send help right away. They call you and a live person talks to you to make sure you're um, alert and aware of what's going on. Um, if you were knocked out, it does send somebody to you. So it's very, uh, it's a very nice feature knowing that someone's always going to be with you while you're driving. Uh, it's good for parents and it is standard for three years. That concludes our tutorial on the new 2020 Corolla Intune system. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by or give me a call. I'm at Lugoff Toyota, and stay tuned for the next one.